We're at the Old Marina Restaurant in Cambridge, Ontario on Lake Pushlinch. Pushling? Push, if I pronounce that right. Look, look at this, look at this view. Absolutely beautiful view here. So the restaurant has a really nice view. Let's go see how the food is. So today we're here to try the Pushlinch Burger Challenge. Uh, currently the record is about 29 minutes apparently. Uh, for this challenge it is three of their Pushlinch burgers, burger patties which are 10 ounces each, topped with lots of cheese, bacon, a big poutine, and, and, a, and a milkshake, which you could have vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. I went with vanilla, or I'm going to go with vanilla, I should say. You have one hour to complete the challenge, and if you successfully do so, uh, you get the meal for free, you get a free t-shirt. If not, the meal is 40 bucks. So it is Easter today, uh, there'll be a live stream of this. So if you already watched this, cool, you're gonna get a behind the scenes view, you're gonna get to see my thoughts in action. But uh, yeah, let's head on in and see what we can do. And uh, let's go. It's very big. Kind of. All right, so we have one hour. Let's start maybe, let's say, right now. So cheers. Good luck. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video and we are in Cambridge, Ontario taking on this Push Lynch Burger Challenge. So this was right on the water, the location of this restaurant was really cool. I uh, had a very interesting start to this restaurant. Um, so I was coming to do the challenge, I told them I'd be in about 3.30, I called ahead. Uh, I arrived about 3.35 to which I walked in, didn't even get a sit at my table and was immediately brought my Burger Challenge which was pre-made and already cold. So I guess they had the challenge literally ready, maybe, but it was kind of an interesting start. It really caught me off guard. Um, they put the burger back in the oven, so I guess my judgment on the food was for twice-baked burgers, and I don't know if the fries were made fresh again or if the poutine was also twice-baked. Um, so that was interesting. I'll talk a little bit more about that afterwards. However, the burger patties themselves tasted pretty good. The poutine was not too bad. So I'll let you get to the rest of the video and I'll talk to you in a moment. So as you can tell by the look of surprise and emotion in my face, these cheese rings were very, very, very tough and complex to eat. I'm going to assume it was because these things were twice baked or double baked because the challenge was ready when I arrived and then they threw it in an oven versus making a new one. So I'm going to assume that under normal context, these cheese rings might be enjoyable. Even though I'm not a cheese fan, uh, I really did find these cheese rings unedible and really a challenge to eat. However, they are supposed to be pleasurable and enjoyable. Um, if I was in an actual restaurant or I ordered these off a menu and they were sent out like this, I would definitely send them back. However, you know, under these circumstances, when you're doing food challenges, you kind of just have to eat what you get. 
That being said, everything was still working out. Let's see what happens in the end. But yeah, definitely make sure they don't cook your burger challenge ahead of time. I've never disliked you twice. So just finish up that challenge again before we leave beautiful view of the lake um, honestly yeah this is the lake is like the view is exceptional uh, definitely some prime property here at this restaurant uh, not too bad of a challenge um, challenge was actually already ready when I arrived so I wasn't expecting that um, so they kind of had to reheat everything before I could officially start my attempt but we did get the meal free we did successfully complete the challenge so that would be technically win number 61. Uh, so anyway, pretty nice place, great location. And uh, yeah, until next time. Here's the Wall of Fame, they put it at 14 minutes. And there was even a girl who completed it. That's pretty cool. 